change now. Did we zero this? Yeah. Well, how did it get moved? I didn't move it. it was on Alright guys, Patriot here with you. I'm out here with my dad and my uncle today, and we're doing a little bit of uh, long range shooting. It's pretty windy right now, so we're doing some 100 yard, 100 and, uh, 100 and 200 yard shooting at uh, some various targets. Um, we've got a target out there at 600 yards as well, and we'll probably be doing some of that later. So we've got a little, uh, little temporary camp set up. Not an overnight camp, but uh, just a temporary here. Uh, I've got some of my optics out here on the table uh, using my spotting scope here earlier. I've got the uh, Swarovski 1556s, 1042s, my Leicos, and my rangefinder. Um, my light here, the uh, PH50 Polarian, was in the uh, my optics bag, so all this goes in my backpack. Okay. Oh, here's one. I got it. You got it? Yep. And block. Look at the beautiful stock on that thing. Gosh, look at that thing. What a sweet piece. All right, now. 200 yard plate? Yeah. Let's just, just shoot the plate now. All right. Oh, does the range finder say 200? I haven't looked yet. Boy, if that's 200. No, I think it's closer to two, 250 or so. Oh, man, that looks like a good piece to me. Handy, if not Sitting on the table right there. Okay. Nice. Did you see that thing rock? Nice. Oh my. Nice shooting, Dad. For a change. <laughs> what a nice camera. Takes pictures, takes movies, takes everything. Nailed it. Wow. Heard the end block fly out that time. We got it all on film. Okay guys, we're heading out to our 600 yard target. We can get it all set up. And uh, I'm going to stay down range here and do the target pasty. Okay guys, here's our target. Uh, we got a piece of cardboard here about four feet tall and about uh, three feet wide or so, two and a half feet wide. And uh, we're shooting 600 yards away at the uh, far end of this dry lake here. And where that blue awning is, is where they'll be shooting from first. So we've got a safe spot. Back here, that's on the other side of a rocky hill. And uh, I'm gonna be about 50 yards from the target when the uh, rounds start coming in here. So I'm gonna get situated and I'm gonna radio over and let him know when it's all clear. And I actually might be in, within sight of the target here, depending on where I go. This will be fine right here. And I can just see the top edge of it. 
All right. Okay. I'm all clear. Uh, just let me know how many rounds you're going to put down range. I sent three down there. Okay, waiting for three. About 7,500 feet here, and I've been walking around, so I'm getting a little bit winded. And you can just see the top of the target there. We're gonna hear a snap and then a bang or a report of the rifle. Hopefully the camera will pick up both the sonic crack and the muzzle report. Very clearly, actually. I pull that one to the left, I'm sure. Roger that, waiting for two more rounds. And yes, I am within sight of the target, but that bullet is going in the opposite direction, going away from me, so. This is something that we have a lot of experience doing. I don't recommend anyone going down range of the bullet without uh, a lot of uh, professional input there. That was the second shot. We'll have one more crack bang here. Love that sound. All clear, guns empty, both open. Roger that, all clear. Guns empty, bolts open, going down to check. Now let's see what we got down here. These are the first shots out here. At 600 yards. Hopefully we're off to a good start. The wind is gusting pretty good. Actually you shot a pretty nice group there dad. You got about a about a five inch group here that's about uh, eight inches high. Beautiful. Beautiful. There's probably one that's off to the left. I pull that one. That was my first shot. Well, as you'll see, uh, you did a real nice job, and you've got nothing to the left. Here's our uh, target markers. Ooh. Looks like they're all big. Oh, here we go. Now they can't see these individual bullet holes back there at uh, 600 yards, even through the fine optics that we're looking through, but they can see those quite easily. Off to a nice start, Dad. What ammo was that? Uh, that's gold metal match. Um, I'm having a hard, I, I moved my spotting scope, and I'm having a hard time getting back on, but I'm working at it. I can't find the target yet. Okay, mine's right on target if you want to look through it. My uh, my like is right behind you. Okay, I'm looking through your scope. I got it. Um... Well, number one, I wonder why it's shooting high. Pattern there yesterday, as I recall. Uh, it's uh, <clears throat> 1,200 feet higher elevation, and uh, it's pretty warm right now, too. No, but I should have. I think I'm going to adjust my scope down a little bit. 
Oh yeah, yeah, I would. You were, you were holding center. Uh, take it down six to eight clicks. How many inches do I want down? About five? Six to eight inches. Okay, these are one-eighth inch clicks, so I'll do the math. Yeah, at 600 yards you want six clicks for four inches. Roger that. Okay, I am in a safe position and I'm clear. You are clear to fire. Roger that. I'll send three more down. Waiting for three. I'm going to be a little pause. I'm going to do two dry fires first. Take your time. The scope Dad's using today is a, uh, a Pentax 6 to 24 power, eighth minute of angle adjustment. So it takes a lot of clicks to adjust at close range, but once you come out here at long range, it works out real, uh, real nicely, actually. So we're waiting for three more rounds uh, to come in right now. And uh, I think I enjoy being out here uh, next to the target almost as much as I enjoy the other end uh, behind behind the rifle so it's all fun for me I dig this okay, stuff a live one's coming down. clear for three rounds we also have a backup communication and uh, if a radio fails or something like that we also have a, a plan for that um, so that even if we can't communicate Everything goes safe, and I drive back to uh, to camp, and we uh, get resituated. So uh, we've been doing this kind of thing for oh, 15 years, and uh, we've kind of got it down to a science now. I'm waiting on the wind. Take your time. 